the broad outline of tax reform uh, has to do with broadening the tax base, that is getting rid of loopholes, and then taxing at lower rates than we currently do. So broad-based, low rates is the, the mantra, if you will. Reagan did that in the context of income tax reform, and he did it quite well. The top rate came down from 70 to 28 percent during his administration, uh, and, and the base was expanded to close a variety of loopholes. I think that's the direction we want to go right now uh, in the income tax, try to broaden the base, use the revenues we've gained there, uh, in, in part to cut rates, in part to pay off the deficit. Uh, but the tax reform has to start with getting all the loopholes out of the system. And that's why it never starts, because people don't like to give up their particular uh, loopholes. And that's why we need White House leadership saying, we are going to do this. You can be on the bus or off the bus, but, but this is where we're going, and we need your support. Obama's tax panel has uh, three challenges, uh, all of them extraordinarily difficult. One of them is the standard set of issues that any tax reform panel has. The current system is too complicated, it's inefficient, it's inequitable. We need to fix, we need tax reform to fix the system. The second challenge they have is that they're working in an era of extremely high budget deficits and uh, uh, not only now, but forecasted to be in the next several years. So they need to be very cognizant of the balance between tax revenues and government spending uh, as they make their proposals. Uh, the third constraint that they face is one that Obama imposed on them, and that is that no one under, with income under $250,000 should face a tax increase. Uh, it's hard to overestimate uh, how much that constrains the creation of effective tax policy. So because of the three big constraints that the panel faces, in particular the third one, I'm not very optimistic that they're going to be able to come out with meaningful reforms that could put a dent in the concerns that everyone has about the tax system. Believe it or not, burdens on low-income working Americans are very low currently relative to historical standards. In fact, burdens on all Americans are low right now. Taxes are going to represent about 15.5% of the economy this year. Uh, that's the lowest level since 1950. And so uh, it's hard to argue under current circumstances that the nation as a whole is overtaxed. In fact, you know, we're running a deficit that's the biggest since the Second World War, uh, which suggests there's an enormous misalignment between what the government's spending and what, it, what the citizens are paying in taxes. So I think we're going to have to see, if anything, tax increases in the future, uh, not more tax cuts.